Hello, this is Stuart from App Playground, and um, today I'm talking about a very exciting new app for Brits um, called BBC iPlayer Kids. And I'm stressing that right at the beginning. It's only for British people, <laughs> not in a weird patriotic way, um, but it's a BBC app, our public service broadcaster, and they have, because of the way we pay our licensing fee, it's only available in the UK. But this has been long awaited by parents here in the UK. So the BBC has this thing called iPlayer, where you can uh, stream shows and download and watch them offline. And apparently a third of all the shows people try to watch through it are for children. So there's a big demand of kids out there trying to watch their favourite shows on their iPad, on their smartphone. And so here's this app, which is called BBC iPlayer Kids. Now, I'm going to start from showing you how it works because they've been very careful to make sure that they're not collecting data on children, there's no advertising, there's nothing that parents would be worried about in that sense. So I've created a profile myself called Stu, um, but I'm going to cre create another one now. And there's three steps. Basically, you enter your child's name. So, Bob. Say how old you are. So, for example, say Bob is an eight-year-old. And they pick a character from a bunch of kind of beasties. And that's it. It's a three-step process. Nothing else. No personal information. No it's not tracking what they watch. What they'll see is this menu of uh, programs. So these programs are taken from two channels here in the UK, CBBS and CBBC. So CBBS is the preschool channel, CBBC is for children kind of six, seven and upwards. Um, and it's basically a mixture of dramas, documentaries, news, cartoons, everything across the two channels. Now you can look at the home, which is basically a feed of what's new. It's personalised in a sense in that however old your child says they are, they'll see a feed of stuff that's relevant for them. <coughs> they won't... Um, it's not tracking what they watch and serving up recommendations because that would involve that sounds like quite a cool feature but it, it would involve data tracking and that's what they don't moan. they can also go and look for shows so you can look for cbb shows choose something and look and it will show you all the episodes if you have used the main iPlayer app you'll recognize it it looks quite similar it's been kind of simplified for kids but it's it's the same sort of stuff so you can um, look through the episodes if I want it to play. Uh, the same for CBBC, so off brittle order. Um, so that's an eight-year-old looking at this, but what if you your child was younger? I'm going to create a, a new child. Uh, very on topic. And say a four-year-old child. That looks like most four-year-old children I know. <coughs> you notice that here, the home screen, it's all CBB stuff. Um, so there's none of the CBBC shows, some of the scarier things like Wolf Blood, which is kind of werewolfy and, and horror-y. Um, this is all the kind of preschool shows, like Fertress to Hotel. Um, you can always see how thing, long things are available for. So this is available for 27 days, how long it is, all kinds of that. So if you sort of see the switch, so this is the main screen for a four-year-old. If I switch back to my Bob profile, He's got some of the more CBBC shows, so it will kind of cater for their age. Now, the other thing that's quite cool in here is the ability to download stuff to watch offline, which if you've got kids going on a plane trip, sitting in a car, um, anything where they're not going to have reception, long train trips, um, you can download stuff to keep on the device and watch at your leisure. So, for example, Absolute Genius Dick and Dom. Um, series 1, New Newton. Sounds good to me. And there's a little button at the bottom left of the little program box saying download tap on that and it's added to your queue and you can see it coming and you can see a measure of my broadband speed um, right there and the main menu there's this download section where you can see what's in your queue and what's downloaded and when it downloads it'll go from one to the other obviously you want to do this over Wi-Fi um, rather than burn through your data if you're on 3G on a phone uh, and when it appears this is going to make marvellous video because you can watch <laughs> watch a bar going across the screen, um, which is a lot of my days spent doing that. So I'm going to look around while other stuff is going. What's happening? So what else have we got? We've got news round, Wolf Blood. So again, you can browse everything. You can look through the series. You could load up all the episodes of a, of a particular series and binge watch them on holiday, for example. Um, the whole thing has been designed for kids to use. So you don't need, doesn't need the parent to use it. I think a four-year-old might need some help. Um, and some overseeing, but there's nothing else in it that they they shouldn't be seeing. There's no no YouTube videos that aren't kind of suitable for children. There's nothing outside what the BBC has chosen for kids. So that's the kind of the, the appeal of it. It's a kind of a gated, curated environment. 
And here we go, downloaded. So I have Absolute Genius, and it says 29 days left for watch. So you can keep things on there for a month, which is pretty much good for uh, the average holiday or or enough time if they forget about it and come back to it a few weeks later. Um, and you can have your, your cube list here. So all this is for children to use. Um, if you tap on the settings in the top left, and it asks you to enter a code. Now I always look at these and think, pretty much any five-year-old could do this. They can read, read um, numbers. But anyway, so six, five, nine. And this takes you to a settings screen, which is for parents. So you can choose to allow downloads. You can choose to have higher quality downloads. You can choose to share stats with the BBC to help it understand how people are using the app anonymously. You can turn that off if you want. And you can change the, it tells you how to change sex size. See the terms of privacy, more busy. All these things down the bottom under other are links off to websites. Uh, and again, that's why they're kept within this parental zone. It's very simple. It's very easy to use. It's going to be a, a, a real boon for a lot of parents, I think. Um, I kind of like a bit more from it as it evolves over time. I would quite like um, the ability to set things like timers. So maybe say this app can't be used after 8 o'clock at night. Um, if you've got a child who's got their own tablet, you know, it'd be nice to have maybe a little bit of control to talk to them. Um, I quite like to be non-BBC stuff in it too. It'd be quite fun if you could have stuff like a diamond minecart, Stampy, the stuff that kids are watching online. If there's a way to kind of bring that in here too, you can obviously get that on YouTube. It be, might be quite nice if it was part of the iPlayer as well. I'm not sure what kind of deals BBC would need to do to do that, but that would be quite appealing to me as a parent. Um, but in other ways, I mean, I, uh, as someone who's, whose children are using YouTube and they watch Cartoon Network and all kinds of stuff and BBC, I do like steering them towards BBC stuff sometimes. There's no ads in it, for example. It's it's a commercial free broadcaster. They make some beautiful shows and some, some really good shows. And th there's stuff that maybe kids might naturally gravitate towards stuff elsewhere that's more kind of whizzy or more... Um, kind of the commercial side of things. And while I wouldn't stop that, I do like to kind of point them at BBC stuff that's good. So I like having this. I'm going to put it in my, in my devices and see what my kids think. Um, and yeah, it's the BBC came out when I went to the launch event yesterday and they said they're going to keep evolving it, adding new features and more content. They're going to have about 10,000 episodes a year initially. Um, so there'll be more than enough for most kids to explore. So if you're here in the UK, it's BBC iPlayer Kids. And it's on um, iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Completely free, no net purchase, no ads, and it's very good. Um, that's my review anyway. Um, we're going to be doing lots more of these. So if you like this, if you're interested in new children's apps, you can subscribe to the channel. There's a little subscribe button wherever you're watching this. Um, and yes, come back and see what we think of other apps soon. Cheers.